Welcome to another tutorial by Quiet Waters Computer Services. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Malwarebytes Anti Root Kit. And the Malwarebytes Anti Root Kit, or MBAR, it removes and repairs the latest root kits and the damages they cause. So if you've ran other programs and you haven't been able to remove the infection that's causing instability in your computer, you can simply download the Malwarebytes Anti Root Kit and run it, and it will fix probably most of the problems, if not all of them. So the first thing you want to do is go to malwarebytes.org forward slash anti root kit and you should land on this page. Once you're here, simply click the download link and save the download file to your computer. And once that's been downloaded, and it's a 15 meg file, you should have it on your desktop. Go ahead and double click it and hit yes to run it and hit OK for it to extract. And you'll notice it's making a folder on my desktop here. And when this is all done and it reboots, you can actually throw that folder away and this executable. And I wouldn't recommend saving that MBAR icon because they always come out with a new and updated version. And when you try to run the program, it'll make you update anyway. So. It pops up on the screen and you basically hit next and you hit the update button just in case there's any updates that need to be done to that version. And then once it's downloaded you can go ahead and continue to use the program. Now it says the database was successfully updated so we simply hit next and at the bottom drives sectors and your system so you just basically hit scan and this will go through your machine and scan the various drive sectors and system areas for any type of an infection and it could take a few minutes or you know up to 30 minutes for this program to run you need to be patient because if you've got some kind of a root kit in there you want to make sure that you let this program complete the scan and find your problem and fix it. So I'm going to pause this until it's done. Okay, and when it's finished, you'll have a list of everything that it has found that it needs to clean up. Now, in my case, it shows one malware item detected. That's because I have this hard disk drive regenerator and a patch, and it considers patch files a risk. So it removes them. So I'm going to go ahead and hit clean up and it should have check marked everything then it makes a restore point and then once it's done cleaning everything it'll give you a prompt to reboot. Then it'll tell you it's cleaning up Then it tells you it needs to be re rebooted, just like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it no, but if you have any infections that appeared on the list, you go ahead and tell it yes. And that's pretty much it. That's my tutorial on how to download, install, and run the Malwarebytes Anti-Root Kit. Thanks for watching my video.